last year we plowed up a little spot for him to uh, grow potatoes and he asked me if he could have a little spot just below that plowed up this year for uh because potatoes did good he wants to do some other stuff up there so before i unhooked the plow i decided to run up and plow that spot for him he also says he doesn't get to see his property much on YouTube, so I figured I'd film that so you can see it. they're better for hay it's because just getting to them but that didn't plow up too bad considering I don't think this field has ever been plowed so actually there's not as many rocks in here so I would have thought a lot more rocks once I get the disc on I'm gonna let this dry out a little bit actually it's good I chiseled it let the air get to it let it dry up and uh, yeah once I get the, get ahead on the corn ground, I'll bring the disc up and that'll break up the clumps a little bit better. Level it out. Oh my God, the bugs are starting to eat me. Time to head back down the road. So I got the corn planter all hooked up. He's in there working on that. Uh, you saw the truck out front. We cleaned up a lot of stuff. We got a lot more to go, but cleaned a lot of stuff up around the shed. Uh, there's that little dip right there that water seems to collect. So got the truck fired up because I'm going to go up uh, in a couple days here and uh, grab a load of crusher run and put down there. And then um, neighbor contacted me and wanted to know he wanted some uh, some kind of base because he's building a shed. Wanted to know if I could grab some for him, so I'm going to do that. So maybe I'll get some video of that. But anyway, uh, we have the 45 is on the disc, so we're going to go out and disc some disc some ground, disc some ground, and uh, while he's getting ready to plant corn, then he can come behind and plant corn. Chisel plow does a great job of ripping it up. Uh, you see these marks here from the shanks coming through and just ripping everything up. And then I'm gonna come through with the disc. And that's a nice heavy duty disc and it really does level things out.
And then what we'll do is we'll come behind this with a roller harrow and that'll break up what's left of these clumps and flatten everything out and smooth it out and it provides a really nice seed bed. And that's how we do things here. Um, it's worked well for us. We've had good results with it on our ground. So um, that's basically what we do. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys the difference between the chiseled ground and the nice flat disc to up ground. The disc does a good job of leveling things off. So time to keep going.
got just under a half a tank of fuel, so time to go hit one more before the night's up. Time to hit the road. was a long day. I was able to get three fields done. The one field was pretty small so it didn't take too long but it's good to get the other two done. Uh, get ahead of him a little bit while he's uh, while he's getting the corn planter ready. Uh, either me and my brother will take the roller down and hit that small piece tomorrow so he can get his sweet corn in and get that out of the way. Um, oh, we better put the windows up in the truck. So yeah. Um, next video will either be rolling or maybe I'll be doing uh, trucking some dirt or maybe both, but who knows. Anyway, thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you. I totally appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.